of was erupted in Yellowstone National Park. While most visitors associate it with wild bison and the psychedelic colors of the Grand Prismatic Spring, much of Yellowstone National Park is actually a supervolcano. This geological term refers to a land area that has in the past or has the potential to produce a powerful eruption of as much as 1,000 cubic kilometers, 3,000 cubic miles, of volcanic material. The Yellowstone Plateau volcanic field stretches across Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho, encompassing most, but not all, of the national park. While Yellowstone's most recent lava flow occurred more than 70,000 years ago, the park is home to more than 10,000 hydrothermal features, such as geysers, hot springs, and steam vents that periodically produce small-scale volcanic activity. On March 17, the U.S. Geological Survey USGS, reported that geologists discovered a new volcanic vent producing steam in the summer of 2024. The vent is located at the base of a lava flow and has temperatures reaching 171 degrees Fahrenheit, 77 Celsius. The plume has continued to billow for months since then and is one of many other volcanic vents in the area. While driving south from Mammoth Hot Springs toward the Norris Geyser Basin early on August 5th last summer, a park scientist noticed a column of steam billowing through the trees and across a marsh. Yellowstone National Park geologist Jefferson Hungerford and Kiernan Falls Donahue wrote in a blog post. The scientists enlisted the help of other team members and verified that it was indeed new. It is also possible that it is related to activity observed on the other side of the lava flow in March 2003. This small activity continues today, but is much less than when it first formed. Hungerford and Folds Donahue wrote, quote, opening square bracket, dot, 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 closing square bracket. You can draw a line along the axis of the older active area, and it will intersect newer features. It also follows the trend of the fault that runs from the Norris Geyser Basin north to Mammoth Hot Springs and beyond. The smoke billows for months, but eventually clears when the weather turns cold despite its many volcanic features. Yellowstone remains a low-risk volcano because of its low concentration of magma reservoirs and its history of small eruptions. Any eruptions are felt as little more than a rumble, but the geological history is evident in the many natural wonders that can be found throughout the park. Old Faithful Geyser, mammoth hot springs, and several small volcanic vents that can be found on hikes and walks at various times of the year. As fall turns to winter, the steam plume slowly dissipates, the scientists write. The feature remains active, but there is less water in the vent, which reduces the amount of steam being released. Whether that powerful plume will return in the summer of 2025 remains to be seen. Determining the rate and pattern of a volcano's eruptions is only part of the job. Once the volcano's eruptive history is known, the next task is to try to understand where the volcano is currently in relation to its life cycle. Returning to the base view one last time, it's like trying to figure out whether it's baseball season or off-season. The difficulty with places like Yellowstone is that they produce large eruptions, but they happen infrequently, with thousands to hundreds of thousands of years between eruptive episodes, where an episode can include one or more eruptions. Based on our current knowledge of Yellowstone's eruptive history, The annual probability of a volcanic eruption is about 0.001%, but even this low number is probably an overestimate in the short term. There is no sign of an imminent eruption based on monitoring data, and we know that the magmatic system beneath Yellowstone is largely solid. But one day, perhaps thousands or tens of thousands of years from now, Yellowstone's volcanic quiet season may end, and volcanologists will be watching for signs of a baseball coming.